everyone, praise the Lord. Let us prepare ourselves for today's scripture. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 19. When the Son of Man came, he ate and drank, and everyone said, Look at this man. He is a glutton and a drinker, a friend of tax collectors and other outcasts. God's wisdom is however shown to be true by its results. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now reflect on the scripture that we just read. In this scripture, Jesus shows how the current generation of Israelites is like the children who are disappointed because their friends won't participate in the games. The Israelite as a whole complained that neither Jesus nor John met their expectations of how a prophet or a messiah should act. The two complaints presented are mirror images of each other. The point overall is that people looking simply for excuses for not to believe. In the previous verse, Jesus pointed out that many accused John of being demon possessed, as said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 18. In this part, this was because of his strange and restrictive lifestyle. He didn't drink alcohol or go to dinner parties. Instead, he went a strange place wearing, a, wearing strange clothes and eating strange food and calling people to repent of sin. It was easier to declare a man like that demonized than to reckon about his warnings about God's judgment. On the other hand, Jesus did attend dinner parties and drank wine. That's what he meant when he says that he came drinking and eating. The people who did not want to hear Jesus, Jesus' message made false accusations exactly the opposite of those they might have applied to John the Baptist. That Jesus did not fast like the other religious people did. And because he did not abstain from wine, he must be a glutton or a drunkard. Neither of those things were true. Other problem for Jesus' critics especially religious leaders, was that people whom he was associated with. He ate dinner with tax collectors, as others known as sinners, those who strictly did not follow the law. This is Matthew's gospel. And once Matthew again points out that what caused Jesus' reputation is for him a former tax collector as one of his 12 disciples. Jewish religious leaders strongly refused to have any association with tax collectors or others of low reputation. They wrongly believed this increased their religious worth above those like Jesus who spent time with such people. Jesus condemned them of falling to show mercy to the spiritually sick, the ones who most needed a doctor, as said in Matthew chapter 9, verse 12 to 13. Jesus points out that the Israelites of this generation as a whole rejected John the Baptist and Jesus, but they did so, for contradictory reasons, the truth was that, that they refused 
to accept the teachings of either the teachings of John or the Jesus or Jesus met the people's own ideology for what the prophet or a religious leader should look like Jesus concludes by stating a simple sentence wisdom is justified by her deeds some ancient manuscripts including Luke's version of this statement put it slightly different wisdom is justified by all her children in the in the gospel of Luke chapter 7 verse 35 both make the same case the wisdom of Jesus and John the Baptist is demonstrated by the results which come from those in actions it's not their drinking or their eating and the companions that matter it is the content and the message and what comes from their actions that will prove them to be both would not be vindicated by the fulfillment of jesus's message as now we have just reflected on the scripture let us conclude with a prayer lord our god too often we are deaf to your voice and to the presence of your son among us his people inspire us by your prophet and your spirit that now is the right moment to change and to commit ourselves to the kind of life and to the justice demanded by the kingdom help us to make people see that your son is alive among us and that he is our lord forever this we pray in the mighty name of jesus christ amen